I got a bad feeling about this. About this. About this. What's happening, boxing? What's happening, YouTube? Amp about that boxing. We've got a new undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. His name is Alexander Usyk. He wins in a split decision. And for many, it's a controversial split decision. Before we get into this video, why are you coming in the door and wiping your feet off on the mat? Please hit the like, subscribe, hit the notifications to be updated on when I drop new content and share the content. Let's go ahead and go in. Uh, big ups to both men, man. They did come in there, true warriors. They did what they had to do. I'm not taking nothing from either fighter. They did what they had to do, but Alexander Usyk was just the more athletic and better athlete this night in boxing. Now, there's been a lot of controversy since this victory. This was an amazing night of boxing in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The fight was exciting. Tyson Fury came in early in the fight. He was doing very well. But the entire time, Alexander Usyk was pressuring Tyson Fury to his limits. Somehow, the shorter reach, Alexander Usyk was able to lunge in constantly and make contact with Tyson Fury. And by the sixth and seventh rounds, he was doing this pretty much at will. Both guys put up a good fight. Tyson Fury said that he believes he did enough to win in the post-press conference. Let's listen. I personally felt I agreed with the judge who gave it to Tyson, but no sour grapes, no crybaby stuff. Of course, Frank Warren, you agree with the judge that gave it to Tyson Fury on his card. Tyson Fury is a Queensbury fighter. What are you going to not go with your fighter getting the scorecard? Come on, y'all. Let's keep it moving. I thank Alexander for the, for the good fight. Um, it was a close fight, you know. I, I, I believed, like, I, I thought I did enough, but, you know, I'm not a judge. I can't judge a fight while I'm boxing it. You know, if, if they would have said to me in the last round or whatever, you're down, go out and try and finish him, I would have done that. But we believe, everyone in the corner believed we were up. You know, all I had to do was just keep boxing and doing what I was doing. And, you know, I thought we was getting it. But it was what it was. I'm not going to cry about spilled milk. I've had plenty of victories and I've gave God the, the glory. I've had this one loss and a close close fight, you know, with a good good man like Usyk. Now, y'all know I got to address this shit. Now, this is one thing I hate to hear after fights. And I hear it way too often, especially from ex-champions who just got debunked or just got derailed, I should say. They say things like, my corner said I was ahead. We all thought I was ahead. You're right, Tyson Fury. You can't judge a fight while you're boxing in it. You are absolutely right. So don't try to do that. This is what I say to all boxers to say that. Get that shit out of here. You are supposed to fight the whole fight like you are losing. Unless you have such a comfortable lead that you don't want to risk knockout. But there's no way he thought he had that comfortable of a lead. And if his corner was telling him that, he got some yes men that he need to get rid of in that corner. Let's keep it moving, man. So Tyson Fury and his Queensberry fellow mate there believed that he had did enough to win this fight. Do you agree or disagree? Y'all know I'm going to give y'all my opinion. And opinions is opinions. They just like booty holes, we all know. So anyway, let's get back to it. Alexander Usyk is a great champion in my opinion. He did everything right. He won this fight. Many believe that he was robbed of his opportunity to get the knockout on Tyson Fury due to Mark Nelson. Referee Mark Nelson is a seasoned referee. This was his 996th bout. That is a lot of damn bouts. So this guy definitely was a seasoned veteran who deserved to be there refing this fight. But when you watch the footage of Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk playing pinball with him, he was bouncing him off of all the ropes. Now, he wasn't rope-a-doping. He wasn't throwing punches back. He was holding his arms straight out and just falling backwards, falling backwards. He literally was so long that he would take three, four steps. He's on the other side of the ring. But ropes were clearly holding this man up multiple times until the point where Mark Nelson finally steps in. But if you watch this sequence, David Hay, Derek Chisora, and many other people in the boxing world believe that referee Mark Nelson saved Tyson Fury from getting KO'd. Now, what do I mean by this? What I mean by this is by the time he stepped in, most of us thought he was stepping in to stop the fight due to the fact that Tyson Fury was not 
returning fire in the ring. He was just falling backwards and getting hit over and over. And as he started to slump down into the ropes, if that had been Alexander Usyk, boxer David Hay, says that if the tables were turned and it was Fury, they would have stopped the fight. And I do truly believe that they would have. Now, I want to back this up with some statements that make sense. And y'all can process the information for yourself. But did or did not Turkey Alashik say he wanted a 7 to 10 fight deal with Tyson Fury win or lose? Right? Correct. I got a video about it. Check it out. So with this being said, that means that they've already negotiated. He already told Tyson Fury that he was the highest paid fighter in boxing because the heavyweight champion deserved to be. Now, Alexander Usyk is that guy. But Tyson Fury has already been paid to be that guy, which is a business investment. So by Mark Nelson keeping Tyson Fury from being knocked out, he kept his stock value up. And by the judges calling it a split decision, which I felt, I'm just going to be honest with y'all, I felt that this was a unanimous decision for Alexander Usyk. This was a unanimous decision for him. And I feel like he was robbed of his knockout. I do feel that. The count was a little slow from Mark Nelson. I think he was giving Tyson Fury the benefit of the doubt because Tyson Fury is such a towering inferno. And I don't know if he did this on purpose. It's hard to tell in boxing who's rubbing whose elbows. But my point is, is that by referee Mark Nelson, intervening right towards the end of this round. This basically was the knockout in the ninth round. He intervened. The count was a little slow, according to Derek Chisora and other sources. The count was a little slow, and Tyson Fury is saved by the bell, only to recuperate a little bit stunned, but enough to make it in through the last and final round. I just don't agree with the split decision. It should have been a UD for Alexander Usyk. Big shout out to Alexander Usyk for fulfilling him and his father's dream. Um, this man is a human being. This man cried in the emotion of the remembrance of his father. You just can't hate on this. Um, for me, it's hard uh, when my father coming for me because I remember all my life. You just can't hate on this. This man didn't talk no trash the entire time. Tyson Fury was calling him ugly. Just, man, just really digging at this dude. Calling him some type of sausages and all kind of stuff. And this man just held it all the way until the post-press conference where he got to actually have a conversation and talk. And he still didn't really dog Tyson Fury. Now, I must admit Tyson Fury was a good sport after he was humble. It's easy to be a good sport after you're humble. And that's exactly what happened. This little guy, the quote little guy, the cruiserweight, coming up to try to fight the real heavyweight, as Tyson Fury put it, the guy who should not have won, really won this by a unanimous decision and a knockout, if you ask me, and several other people. But to protect the investment, I believe the judges were going to always give it a split decision if it went the distance. And Tyson Fury believes that Alexander Usyk only won because the UK is at war right now. And so they granted him the W. I'm sorry, guys. I watched Baronchik beat Navarrete. Alexander Usyk earlier that night beat Tyson Fury. We watched none other than Vasil Lomachenko just the week prior to this beat up on George Ferocious Cambosis and get the knockout. So where is this coming from? I mean, the Ukraine is on fire right now in boxing. They just are. They having a run right now in boxing. And more power to them. More power to them. Maybe this shows that when your country and your nation is going through something, the man in you comes out. And when you come from these countries where it's soft, I mean, I'm not saying no names, but I know where I live at. 
And this country ain't never went through no real, you know what I'm saying? We ain't went through nothing in so long that most of us don't know how to be that kind of tough. That's a different kind of tough to have to be. Facts. We haven't gone through no real stuff in a long time, okay? So that's all I'm saying. Not to wish nothing over here, but I'm just saying it's a different level to life when you are involved and your country is involved in war and it's a real war. And I'm talking a war on your soil. Let's keep it moving. Big ups to these guys, man. Big ups to the UK, man. I give nothing but respect to Alexander Usyk. Go to his family. This bout, he said, kept him from his family for almost nine months. It should have been a six months endeavor and then it got pushed back. You know what I'm saying? And I believe this got pushed back twice, according to Usyk's manager. I swore he said it got pushed back twice. But regardless of the fact the man missed all of his kids' birthdays, he missed all of his family holidays, and he's from a nation that is currently in a war. So, I mean, how much more could you have stacked up against you? And I don't know if that was maybe a tactic. You see how people always try to bring up the tactics and all that, but they don't bring up certain agendas like Tyson Fury postponing the match, keeping this man from his family longer, keeping this man, they knew what they was doing. They probably knew what they was doing. All right. It was all tactics, not looking them in the eye at the face off. I think Tyson Fury saw that real fire at the press conference because this dude was not being moved by nothing he was doing. So he just went for the gusto and said, I'm not even going to look at this dude. But it doesn't pay off in the end. And Tyson Fury says he wants to rematch. There's an automatic rematch clause. He says he wants to rematch. I know that right now, Usyk just wants to get back home to his family. He had a little Eeyore on stage. I thought it was cool as hell. He had that up there. More than likely for one of his kids. This is just a real human champion. This is a people's champion in my opinion. I think this is one of the greatest fighters that we have in our time and we need to appreciate it. Stop using race, stop using culture, stop using countries. None of that ain't got nothing to do with the sport of boxing. Just support this man because he actually is a man. He doesn't act funny. He don't be throwing name or shade around on people's names. This man is religious. He's all about Christ and the Lord. And man, you can't hate on this guy, man. He's never been popped for nothing that I've heard. So what more do you guys want? A clean champion that gets in there, gets the job done. Anyway, guys, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all think that uh, referee Mark Nelson saved Tyson Fury from getting knocked out, thus keeping his stock high so that Turkey Alashik could continue to put him in as a player and people will actually come to see it? Because, see, think of it like this, y'all. If it was a rematch clause, like there is, automatic rematch clause, and Tyson Fury got KO'd or lost unanimously by a margin of two, three per card, at least three per card, a lot of people would be like, ah, no need for a rematch because that's how we think now. We don't think that, wow, you know, he got knocked out, but the dude could come back. We don't think like the Rocky movie in real life no more. We used to think like that. We used to have that hope for fighters. Now, if a fighter lose too bad, his stock value go down. People aren't interested in watching him fight because, oh, man, psh, Alexander Usyk knocked him out, bro. See how that, that rolls off the tongue different than he got a close split decision. See, that's how they do it. That's how they do it, man. So, you know, it's business involved in boxing. We got to always remember that, that once a boxer has been invested in, they're going to get and recoup some of these dollars. They're going to recoup their money. And there's no way that Turkey al wanted a Tyson Fury that had either been knocked out. That's why there was a judge that was guaranteeing to give Tyson Fury a card. There was no way they were going to give him a unanimous decision defeat to Alexander Usyk. Because Alexander Usyk ain't the one with the contract with Turkey al for 7 to 10 fights, as he said he wanted to do the deal with Tyson Fury. So that's all I'm saying, y'all. I'm just trying to keep it out there in front of y'all. These are the things that was happening. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Hopefully we get to see this rematch. They talk in October for the rematch. So hopefully both of these guys will get home get rested, spend time with their families, and we get to see them do it again this year in October. Anyway, like, subscribe, hit the notifications, and please share the content. This is all I got for this one. I'll be back with another one, man. Amp, about that boxing.